Welcome to another Blueprint.io video and today we will talk about ThingSpeak. After signing up and logging in, you will end up at this page, the public channels. So while you are probably aiming to use ThingSpeak as a data visualization for your project, you can also find different data visualizations from other projects. Like in this case from San Diego, let's take a look. So these guys decided to build a nice dashboard and make this data public. So we can see they are giving us a little description. They're giving us temperature, humidity, and a bunch of other values. They even mentioned the setup they have, which is an ESP8266, an UNO revision 3, and DTH22, so combined temperature and humidity sensor, and a BMP from Bosch 280, which can be used to measure air pressure. So what we can see from this dashboard is a bunch of graphs. In this case, ThingSpeak will call this channels. So every little graph is referred to a channel. So in this case, it's a temperature channel and the humidity channel. We can see what's the temperature there, the humidity, quite nice to get a first impression at one glance. And further down, we get also nice charts where we can see the time axis and the certain values. What we can recognize already here is that we don't have any option to select the time frame. We cannot find any date picker or something like this to see data from last year or from yesterday or from the last week, whatever we want. We can only see whatever is given in this graph. The appearance of the charts is also quite basic. Even though you can hover across every single data point and see the exact value at this time. Beside a lot of different temperatures and other data and different charts, they also provide here at the bottom a map so we can check out where the whole system is located. So in this case, it's in South America. So quite nice little feature to know where the data is coming from. We can also see the last readings, the last updates of the channel, also quite nice information. And we have a comment section down at the bottom. So beside the overall dashboard, we can also open every little channel or every frame in a separate tab. This function is not providing any more features. We can just, of course, zoom in and see one graph in a separate window, but they are basically the same. So from a user interface point of view, I would say ThingSpeak is really quite basic. If we compare to Grafana or Blink or whatever is out there or Arduino Cloud, there are way more options. Also the Node-RED dashboard, which can be hosted publicly, is much more capable than what we can see here from a visualization standpoint. But that's actually not what ThingSpeak is aiming for. What we can see right here is we can export the recent data. So we can download it as a JSON file, XML or a CSV, a comma separated value. So we can feed it into an Excel sheet. So that's quite nice. We also get a direct link to GitHub. That's of course, depending on the publisher, if he is sharing this or not. And we can press a MATLAB analysis or MATLAB visualization button. And that's where things get interesting. While Grafana or Arduino Cloud or whatever or Node-RED dashboard are really made for visualization, for data analysis, ThingSpeak is just a distribution from MATLAB. So ThingSpeak is just for a quick view, for a quick impression, and as one place to store your data and access your data. But what's actually happening is you can have different analysis by MATLAB and also visualizations. So let's hit the MATLAB button and you get linked out to MATLAB. You can set up certain parameters and run your own analysis, your own calculation based on the raw data you're feeding into ThingSpeak. So to understand this a bit more, let's check out the normal ThingSpeak web page where we can see even an iPad showing those graphs, but still looking a bit of like the interface of Windows 2000. But nevertheless, it's quite useful and it's getting the job done. But as soon as we scroll down, we can see that it's all about collecting data, analyze it and act. So something that's special about ThingSpeak, you can uh, trigger a reaction. So you can trigger a certain message that will be responded to a certain channel in case a value is hitting a certain border. You can analyze all this data using MATLAB. And of course, of, you can use the whole power of MATLAB and the whole capability of connect MATLAB to artificial intelligence or machine learning stuff. So it's really quite powerful in case you're into analyzing and working with your data. 
if you're just into visualizing your data, ThingSpeak is probably not the way to go. It's simple and it's free up to a certain point. So it's really a quick setup for a test or for prototyping. But in case you want to have a nice and decent user interface and stuff like this, then probably ThingSpeak is not the way to go. And of course, at the very beginning, compared to Grafana, where you have to connect your own database, ThingSpeak provides its own database. You don't have to care about if it's a SQL database or a non-SQL or how you store the data. You just push out the values to the ThingSpeak channel and then ThingSpeak will store it, share it, publish it, will take care of all of this. Another feature of ThingSpeak is you have certain apps you can connect. Let's take a look. Of course, you have all the MATLAB stuff we already talked about, but you can also think treat. So you can send an automated treat based on your values. And of course, you can see some API endpoints here, which are provided. So you see it's quite connected to coding and analyzing machine learning. That's all those interfaces that are already prepared for you. So once more, you have decent apps for analytics. You have some apps for actions. You have time control, you have react, which will be a trigger based on a certain value that's reached or missed or whatever. You can talk back to the device, you can integrate HTTP. So there are several interfaces and several ways to work with your data. I think that's a major difference. While Blink or other apps will kind of capture your data and you really can only work with the data within the Blink app or within the dashboard from Node-RED. ThingSpeak is really about, okay, we collect the data and we give you some options to display it, but basically we don't care about it, which kind of app you use, what you're going to do with it. We just want to provide this platform and we really want you to work with your data. So ThingSpeak coming from this research approach is providing this little infrastructure chart where we can see what's going on. So first of all, you have your smart connected devices, which can be an Arduino, ESP, Raspberry Pi, whatever you want, as long as you have an internet connection. So you have your devices, you have your sensors, which may be connected directly or connected via a base unit or however you want to go. So if you wonder what's going on here, check out the IoT video. But what's happening afterwards is you can send this data to the ThingSpeak Cloud. And at the ThingSpeak Cloud, it's basically just a database where a data aggregation can take place and also a bit of analytics. And of course, you can talk back to your device, as we mentioned before, as soon as a certain value is reached. This may be useful, but probably you could also just trigger an action directly on your device as soon as the value is, is reached. But on the other hand, you can also trigger an action via an API. So you could directly trigger an action towards another device, a different device, which is not directly the device that was collecting the data in the first place. But if you want to take it to the next level, that's where MATLAB comes in and you can share this data with MATLAB or you can access your data with MATLAB and use all the algorithms you want to develop by your own or you want to copy from someone else and do all the analytics you want. And of course, after this analytics, you could feed back this information you gained from the data back to your connected devices and trigger some action again. So that's basically all you need to know about ThingSpeak, what it is, how it works. So thanks for watching and make sure to be subscribed for the next video where we will take a look on how to create your own channel and connect your own devices to it. So see you next time.